Big breaking news story tonight. Dozens of Pittsburgh firefighters working all night on this one. Huge warehouse fire on the south side. Lynn Hayes Freeland's there. She's got the latest for us live. Lynn. Paul, at this point, it does appear that firefighters will be on this scene throughout the night into early tomorrow morning. That's because of a fire that happened here at a place called the Appliance Warehouse. It started about 7 o'clock this evening, and for early, people could see smoke and flames for miles around. Now, the building, which is located in the 500 block of Bingham Street, is home to the appliance business as well as a popular entertainment spot, the escape room, which had customers inside at the time of the fire, customers that had to be evacuated. Now, there was a partial building collapse, and there are indications that the building itself could be a total loss. It won't be clear for some time what started this fire, but it did go to three alarms, which means there were more than 60 firefighters on scene throughout the three hours plus firefighters were battling this blaze. Now, the fire was officially under control just before 10 o'clock tonight, but the work here is far from over. We had to do a little bit of uh, out-of-the-box thinking. We had to breach some walls so we can reach the seat of the fire. We're going to be here for the rest of the night in case there's any flare-ups. The building is heavily damaged, so we're still keeping our guys out of there because we don't want anyone to get in there, start operating, moving stuff around structural collapse. We requested the power to be out because there's some huge power lines that were going in the area and when you start dealing with the type of voltage that they use, those upper lines, there's no insulation. So our water hitting those lines will conduct electricity right back to the rig, which is bad. So uh, we requested Duquesne Light shut those the lines down. And and again, the power will be out for probably several more hours, and a number of streets here are blocked off as well, Bingham being one of them. And right now, it's just not clear when that street could reopen to traffic, but the good news is no one was hurt. Reporting live from the south side, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV News.